Oh. Oh my gosh! Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. And for this video, we're gonna be solving again another problem about fluid flow measuring device. And specifically, we're gonna be talking about Pito tube. And for to those who did not watch my video lecture for Pito tube, kindly watch my video and I will link that on the description below. Let's go! Let's go! So ito yung problem. From the figure shown, determine the velocity of the stream of water. So as you can see, yung primary fluid that is flowing on the stream is water. Then, since stream yan, expose sa atmosphere yung upper part ng liquid. So this is open, no? wala siya sa closed pipe. Malamang ito ay nasa open channel. And since water is flowing, then may velocity dito sa stream and yun yung kailangan nating i-determine. So, paano natin siya ma-determine? Merong tayong device which is yung bent na tube. Kung papansin nyo, 90 degrees yung pagka-bent niya dito at intercepting yung kanyang opening dun sa lower part ng tube at naka-face siya dun sa flow ng fluid. Ngayon, uh, due to that uh, velocity ay makakapag-create tayo ng head which is, ang created na head inside the tube is 40 millimeters. So, we will determine again velocity. And since hindi naman given ang C sa B or coefficient of velocity, then, ang compute lang natin dito is the theoretical velocity. Let's go! And from our derivation, from our discussion about pito tube, so, this is the pito tube. So, Ang pronunciation natin for pito tube is pito tube, no, not pitot. So our formula would be uh, v sub t or theoretical velocity is equal to the square root of 2gh. Now, yung h natin na tukoy natin dito is ito lang. Yung height from the surface or reference surface ng liquid hanggang dun sa level ng surface sa loob ng pito tube. So, yun ay 40 millimeters. So, H is equal to 40 millimeters or also equivalent to 0 0.04 meters. So, that would be square root of 2 times 9.81 meters per second square times 0 0.04 meters. So, ito lang ating solution na talagang may C lang siya. Since na-derive na natin siya sa ating discussion. So, input ka na sa calculator. That would be the square root of 2 times 9.81 times 0 0.04 meters. So, the velocity is so, the computed velocity is 0 0.88 so, our answer would be in meters per second. So, ito na yung theoretical velocity. Nakuha natin using uh, pito tube. Let's go! At yun lang guys para sa video na to. So, sobrang eksi lang nito. Sana may natutunan kayo and see you sa next video. Thanks!